to export a character as a OBJ, you have to have the export license. If not needed, then all you need is a character to export. You want to put them in a specific pose for doing 3D models. And this is simple to do. Natalie is a character creator model. She'll come in. When she's in here, you give her a motion. Then you decide what pose you want to put her at. Hit F. She comes in as a T pose. Give her a motion. Doesn't matter which one it is. You can give her any motion you want, any pose you want. You can put her in uh, G5 female, both hands. Not really sure what that is yet. There you go. There's a pose. It's good enough. Or you can give it a complete motion, whatever the character needs. If you want to put them in a super standing pose, you can take the character and you can turn the character sideways. And that's the way they'll export. Or you can keep it front. Or you can do the back. It's up to you. Whatever pose you want them in. The thing is, if you want to use this as the motion, then remember where it is. Right here, it's both hands on waist. Okay. Where's it at? Well, find the file. And you'll know where it's at. It's in here. Both hands on waist. It's under G5 female. Okay. So all I have to do is copy that address up here and we'll minimize it for now and then I'm going to send this character Natalie to 3D Exchange edit in character creator or edit in 3D Exchange I'm going to edit in 3D Exchange when she goes in there she's going to go back in under a T pose I assume so we'll just wait until she gets there and then once she's in you can reestablish this pose or you can pull the first pose of any motion you've got in your files into her by simply going to there you go we're going to replace her by simply going to N shortcut N load a pose now I'm going to load the one I just had here paste go in here and it's both hands on waist both hands on waist one side not really sure what the difference is but there she is in her pose when you export this character in an OBJ she'll be in that pose if you want to use a motion you can use a motion for whatever you need go into motion uh, go to uh, Gwen doesn't matter move and you can go walk start you can use that motion okay whatever pose that is. Of course that one would need adjustments for this character. So just load the pose from Control V and load both hands on waist. There you go. Now if you want a character turn you'd have to do it initially and then export the character and then re-import a saved pose. So right now we'll just export her as she is in this position of course, you can spin around her and look at her and go A, S, D, or F, depending on which way you want to look at it, to see if the pose is okay. A, hands are kind of inside the skirt, but it's all right. S, D, F. Then you can export her as an OBJ. Now, if you're going to use it here, that's up to you. I just leave it as default, and I'm going to save her under this folder on my desktop under Natalie. And say OK as a temp avatar. That's going to be the name. I've already got her saved in a previous pose, but I'm going to save it here. Okay. She's going to export with a hair, dress, everything in the current positions you see it in now. Then all you have to do is re import it to check it. Open, and this is a catwalk pose. I'm going to open that one. You'll see how she comes in. She'll come in with the catwalk pose on her. Here, that's the first position of the motion, or you can open up the one we just sent out, which is temporary avatar. It's just a default name. You can rename it anything you want when it goes out, which I just showed you. And this was the pose we gave her to, to export. You see her skirts in the same falling position, her hair's in the same position, her head is turned, her arms are on her waist, and that's how you export an OBJ.
for use in other programs. If you need to do a 3D model, you're going to have to convert this OBJ to a 3D file. Now, I'm not going to go through all that, but that's how you get it out of iClone. You can also do it from Character Creator if you have a motion applied to it or a pose. But you'll still need to find out where you're going to do this at. If you hit N now, you're not going to get any option to load the pose because the pose comes in already applied. And this is not a character with a bone structure. It's got the body, the tongue, the teeth, the eyes, the hair, the dress, and the high heels. And that's it. Cricky out.